Hey guys, Zero here, back with another video, and as you can tell by the title of it, uh, this is a guide to level your uh, girls' frontline dolls, because it's kind of one of my favorite games. Kind of got back into it two months ago, maybe three months ago. And so it is a guide from uh, levels 1 to 100 uh, until they release. Did you mind? Can I have the UMP, please? Please? So this guide is great uh, for when you just start out and you want to start a basis. Uh, for you, you know, for your later gameplay. Now, if done right, you just need to follow this guide one time. Then you can move on to something called uh, corpse dragging or beggar runs. That I will make a guide for, and hopefully, we'll link, uh, you know, above in the card. Uh, you'll see that. Bing. In this guide, I'll recommend dolls to prioritize leveling, squad slash echelon formation. I'll just call it esh or uh, squad. Uh, interchangeably and uh, I will show you recommended leveling stages and their respective routes. My sources will be linked in the description below if you want to follow those guides uh, and you know if you want to follow mine it's okay too. Uh, and uh, listed here are timestamps so if you want to look at uh, those respective things such as the uh, dolls, echelon formation, uh, recommended stages and their routes. So first off uh, we have the recommended dolls. The dolls I recommend you level would be Sten, Scorpion, AR-15, Sop Mod, and M4A1. So the reason why I chose Sten and Scorpion is because they're decent tanks and they're pretty common map drops. This is so you can use their dupes for dummy linking and save your cores for dummy linking the AR team. The reason why I chose AR-15 and Sop Mod is because they're great DPS and they can equip for crit and accuracy. The reason why I chose M4A1 is because she's a great AR that buffs ARs for crit and damage. There are some exceptions to my DAW selection. If you want to get ahead for corpse dragging, you can replace AR15 with 416, FAL, or M16. Otherwise, you can throw in your favorite AR SMG rifle, or that one 5 star you're really proud of. Because I'm speaking about leveling your dolls, one thing I want to mention is Core Hell. So what is core hell? Core hell is when you have high rarity dolls, but you don't have enough cores to link them with. This is partly why I recommend Sten and Scorpion. If you really want to level a 5 star doll, pick one. Once you have your first squad leveled up, use them to farm for cores. Then you can have more. Otherwise, no tachi. Now if you're following my god closely and running with two SMGs, and three ARs, you can use the standard F formation. Make sure to organize your squad for maximum combat effectiveness. My squad with Sop Mod, M4, AR-15, Scorpion, and Sten happens to look like this. In addition to your leveling squad, you want a single pistol by itself in its own squad for action points where necessary. Alright, now let's get to the leveling stages and their routes. Included in this guide will have normal stages and emergency stages. Emergency stages are denoted by the E at the end of their name. For example, 1-1E. Here I will put some timestamps for the recommended levels and the maps associated with them. First off, we have 1-2. This is where I actually want to mention planning mode. So it makes it easier for you, so I'm gonna have to press every single you know, node that you need to get to. So for this map, it's recommended you go for levels one through 15. This takes two turns to complete, and to start using planning mode, use it like this. You press the planning mode button, you select your leveling squad, press on the nodes to match the route, execute the plan, and once they finish all the battles, just hit end round to capture the enemy command post. Next up, we have Stage 2-3, this is best for levels 15 to 30. For the screenshots provided in this guide, the green D is where you put your dummy squad, while the purple and pink lines are the recommended route. With this map, you have two routes available, so if you want to drop your dummy squad on the D, and your leveling squad on the helipad there, you have one L-shaped route, which is the pink route, which you only face three enemies, which is more survivability for your squad, or you take the weird purple zigzag, which will give you four enemies, which gives you more experience, 
but uh, it'll take it'll take more damage. If you can actually survive through that, awesome. If not, go for the three enemies until you can. After that, we have 2-1E, best for levels 15 to 35, is exactly the same as 2-3. For levels 30 to 50, we have stage 3-5. You want to deploy your dummy squad at the green D, and similar to the previous stage, you actually have two routes available for you. One route has three enemies, the other has three. Make your choice depending on the survivability of your squad. 4-3E is best for levels 45 to 74. Place your dummy squad, exactly as shown here. And for your leveling squad, just go straight up. Level 5-4 is good for squads that are level 60 to 79. There are multiple routes available. You can choose according to your survivability. Now, my recommended route is to place your dummy squad up at the top right. And the far top left is where you put your leveling squad. Hit the five enemies along the way and complete the mission. 5-2E is best for levels 70 to 87. Now it's very similar to 5-4, but my recommendation is you put your dummy squad exactly where it was before and you start on the bottom left doing this pattern to hit five enemies to complete the mission. For levels 60 to 92, we have stage 5-4E. You want to deploy your dummy squad bottom right as shown, and the remaining helipad is for your leveling squad. Go straight to the left, defeat the boss, and end the round. Second to last, we have stage 0 2. Best for levels 80 to 100. There are two routes available. You can start your leveling squad at the helipad and do this zigzag route, or alternatively, you can start leveling squad at the command post and do this route. Both hit five enemies for maximum experience. And finally, we have 0 4. Best for levels 88 to 100. This level uses something called retreat leveling. You can do this many ways, but I have one recommended route. Put your dummy squad exactly as shown, and put your leveling squad in the top center helipad. Go straight up the map, hitting two enemies. Go to the right, hitting two more, and go down to the last enemy, and then back onto a friendly helipad. Once you're finished that, terminate the mission so you actually can save your resources. Now, that should be all the maps for leveling your dolls to 100 until Digimind or Neural Upgrade is available in English servers. My sources are linked below, thanks to uh, GFL Corner and Angry Trap Midget Guide. So, if you guys have any questions or future suggestions for Girls Frontline content, leave them in the comments below. Share this video if you liked it. Like it if you liked it as well. If you find it useful, actually share that if it's find it useful and think someone else uh, will need this kind of help. And uh, subscribe for the upcoming Corpse Dragon video uh, once that's out. I also will link a playlist of my Girls Frontline videos. I'll see you guys next time.